Uh, the health equation, uh, there are contributions from both genetics and from environment. Uh, factors under our control, factors not under our control. And I think it's impossible to say exactly where that line is, but uh, there is more and more evidence that we have the ability to control gene expression. That even the, our choices of foods, specific nutrients and foods can turn genes on or turn them off. Um, that's very powerful. Uh, for instance, with prostate cancer, where there is a number of genes that affect its expression, uh, there are nutrients in, in food, like lycopene in tomatoes, for example, uh, elements in soy, that actually turn off some of the genes that uh, increase the uh, aggressiveness and growth of prostate cancer. There's even more provocative area of research showing that emotional states can turn genes on or turn them off. So I, I would just say that there's great uh, promise there that factors under our control affect genetic expression. And then another, I cite in Healthy Aging, I wrote that we can see all around us that people today are aging differently from their parents and grandparents. You know, we commonly hear people say 70s, the new 60, for example, and it's true. Now, what's changed in this time? It's not genes. You know, what's changed is that many people today have available to them better information, better products and services, uh, better preventive medical care, and they're applying that, and the differences are obvious even in a relatively short space of years.